right, what are we at? Three out of five destroyed hives. Okay, we can do this. Whoa, they're coming back for some more. All right, you know what? Let's just go into the hive. We're going into the hive. We're going into it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you an episode of Nimbatus the Space Drone Constructor. I know a lot of you guys like Cosmeteer on the channel, so I figured you might want to see this game as well. So I reached out to the developers, they sent me a key, and uh, they do have a Kickstarter for it. It's in pre-alpha right now. If you want to play the demo after seeing my video, then uh, go check out their Kickstarter, you can get the demo there. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. And uh, we're going to get to building some drones. I'm going to show you what exactly this game can do. All right, so we're in our universe here. It's a procedurally generated universe, if I remember correctly. And uh, one of the first things I noticed when I joined the game is uh, they have a scrapyard. They have a little scrapyard over here. Um, just that's, that's what I named my Discord, so I thought that was kind of funny. So if you want to be part of the scrapyard on my Discord, then uh, go check the links in the description. So, some of you did request that I play this game, and I was actually already going to play it, so what a coincidence. Let's go ahead and visit this planet here. So, our missions, we have different missions. Our missions for this uh, planet, it's destroy the transmitter and destroy some hives. We have to build a drone that is capable of destroying things and uh, exploring the planet. Now, uh, I watched the demo video and it looked really awesome. It's actually some destructible environments. So, we have the tutorial here that tells us what to do. Um, so let's go, go just get a quick overview of what we have at our disposal. I mean, we can add like different parts and stuff uh, to reshape our ship in what ways that we need. Obviously, it's, it's relatively limited right now. I'm assuming that they're going to be adding a lot more to this game, considering it's, it's not even an alpha right now. Um, so we have thrusters, smaller thrusters, bigger thrusters, and a jump thruster, which I'm assuming is like a just a short boost. Uh, we got batteries to charge certain things, uh, fuel tanks, obviously, for the thrusters, shields. I, I played with the energy shields. They're interesting. You actually have to activate them manually, or you can set up logic and have them activate, which I wonder what uh, kind of capabilities that allows for. Hinges, motorized hinge, so we can have some automated uh, things and a decoupler. And then we got all these weapons. We got spikes, so apparently we could do some ramming. We got saw blades for some melee style stuff, and then different types of guns and rockets and plasma cannons and flamethrowers and things like that. Uh, what is this? We have sensors. Oh, so sensors would be good for uh, using your logic and stuff. So we got a distance sensor, a speed sensor. Hmm. Once we go to a certain speed, what would we want to happen? Uh, directional sensor. Okay, so this is actually my first time using the directional sensor, so you can set the range, and then once something falls out of this range, I guess, if it tilts too far to the right, you can have it activate something, so you can actually have an auto-stabilizing ship that will always face in the same direction, no matter how it tilts, because uh, you, you can then add keys for it to um, activate some thrusters and things like that, so that is a pretty cool feature, and then we have our various logic, we just have a regular button, if gate, not gate, and gate, or gate switch, a logic connector, a splitter, and an impulse giver. So that is what we have. So I'm not going to get too complicated for the first episode. Uh, we're just going to try to build something that works and see what kind of crazy stuff happens uh, in that with that goal right there. So first, let's start off with some thrusters. One thing I am unsure about is uh, how much energy things need, or I don't know if, if this stuff recharges automatically. Oh yeah, it recharges five per second here. So I can also rotate things and it actually lets me rotate it. It's not like on a 90 degree grid like most uh, building games seem to be. This one I can rotate it pretty freely. So we're gonna place our batteries. Oh wait, no, our thrusters need fuel, not batteries. My bad. So now we have our fuel here. So I can place it and rotate it just like that. So these use eight per second. This refills 10 per second, so these will use up this fuel. So I'm actually going to add some extra fuel things over here as well. Um, so these are automatically assigned to W since this is forward, and I think if I put something over here... That's automatically assigned to D, so it'll turn me to the right, and then this one is automatically assigned to A. So it kind of predicts where you put things, but if I don't like it, I can assign it to whatever key I want, which is really cool. Alright, so I've actually decided I'm gonna have, uh, the smaller thrusters for turning, just because I feel like turning doesn't need to be quite as fast. I don't know how powerful these thrusters are, but they only use four fuel a second, and these things refill at 15 per second, so just having, like, one like this should be perfectly fine for those to not run out of fuel at all. So we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna need some power, though, for weapons, but let's start adding some protection in for these fuel tanks. Guess we'll just do a little bit of that there. 
Okay, another thing I just figured out is um, I can, if I take this, right now it's attached to the core of the ship, but if I click here, it's now attached to that. So then what I can do is this, when I select this, it selects everything attached to it. So then I can copy and paste it just like that. So it allows us to copy and paste based on what's attached to what, which is kind of cool. So in the back, I'm going to have some big, I hope these are, I know that if I collide, if things collide, it tends to glitch out. So I don't know if that counts as a collision. So let's do a quick test flight. Yep. See, that's a collision. So that's not going to work out. Let's go back to the editor here. So we're going to have to move that back just a little bit. There we go. That looks good. And now, oh, you know what? I'm going to use this instead. We're going to do a little bit of that and we're going to get rid of that. So let's do a quick test to see how well these uh, small thrusters do with turning. So we turn left, we turn right. You know what? I actually feel like they're not enough. Let's see how that compares to the bigger thrusters. So now, oh yeah, that is much better. And we got forward. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! All right. Oh, we got some enemies. I don't have any weapons. What happens if I ram them? What happens if I ram them? Oh, they avoid me. Clever. Oh, there's a wall though. Oh, and that didn't do anything. All right. Uh, how's their damage though? What are they doing here? They're not, I don't see anything blowing up quite yet. Let's see if they can blow up something. How long does it take for these little weapons here? All right. Well, there must be some type of invincibility thing or something because I'm not dying. So let's get back into, uh, let's see. We need to put, so now these are shields. So I can put shields down here. Now, how much area does these shields cover? I'm going to add them to right click. So now, oh, it doesn't really cover the front. It only covers the back. So we're going to have to move those up. How's that going to be? That's not, that's okay. I'm kind of vulnerable in back right now. So I'm going to cover my, cover my back here so that we don't uh, get our fuel tanks and stuff destroyed. So now here's a question. I don't know if my fuel, uh, if my jets need to be uncovered or what happens if they get blocked. That ah, seems fine. I'm perfectly covered back there. And I'm getting a lot of weight on me right now, so we might need a little bit more forward thrust, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. So now we need to add some weaponry. So what I can see here, I think these things, these little gun things right here, are they follow your mouse. So wherever you're pointing, they will aim. But these other things, like the lasers and the snipers, uh, they only face the direction that your ship is facing. So we have to keep that in mind. So this is what? This is an EMP rocket gun tower. And this is a bullet gun tower. They both need energy to work. We have a lot of energy. How much is this? Oh, I just realized a huge difference between the large battery and the solar panel. The energy capacity of the solar panel is only 25, but it recharges it every second versus this has an energy capacity of 200. So this is going to give us um, re reusable energy but this is going to give us a store of energy to uh, use off the bat. So I think a combination of both would be good. So since the bullet guns uh, can go in any direction, we should probably have those on the outsides and focus our beams in the middle. I don't really know what the damage... It doesn't say how much damage these things do. All right, so let's put two of these in the front. Oh, and it gives me, I think it gives me the details of it here. So these, um, these plasma short beam lasers, they take plasma ammunition. They have a short beam, <laughs> plasma short beam, uh, but they also have a digging upgrade, biochemical ammunition bullets. So I wonder if we're having different enemies that are weaker against certain types of ammo. That'll be interesting. So these are bullets. These are rockets. So let's start relatively simple. I'm going to have, um, different types of snipers on either side, and then we're going to have this up here and this up here and these should be able to reach around pretty well now the question is how much energy are we going to be using it doesn't say how much energy they use so let's go ahead and test it out oh yeah there we go there we go there we go and we're doing pretty well i feel like with energy if i'm just shooting constantly Look at all these weapons. Look at all this stuff going everywhere. I feel like we're owning right now. All right, so now I am running out a little bit of this one, but these ones I think are recharging it pretty fast as well. All right, so cool, cool. I don't know if these ones are actually recharging. Oh, we can't go backwards. That's not good. Yeah, I can't even turn right now. All right, we just found a flaw. We need reverse thrust. So now these are going to set to S. All right, so now... Cool, now we can add some protection on the side. Oh, and I forgot about my shield. Look at that. Oh, we are good. How's this doing on power, though? 
What is shield? Do shields use energy? They do. Okay. All right. I think we are going to be pretty... Oh, that uses the energy fast. We are almost out of energy, and now we are out of energy. You know what? I'm, I think let's save this. We're going to save this as scrap your drone. We'll go ahead and launch. All right, so we're getting into the game. We have to, what, destroy a couple of hives and destroy a transmitter. So let's see what this involves. There's our mothership, and we are in zero... Ch oh, there's already things coming. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I gotta remember that I actually have to aim my mouse at them. But they are surrounding me pretty well. Let's go ahead and activate our shields really quick. While these things are attacking. Are they infinite? Oh, there's a hive right there. I should probably destroy the hive, huh? That might help. Oh, there's another hive coming. Okay, there's a lot more enemies here than I expected there to be. So let's go ahead and move backwards. Let's recharge a little bit. Can we sustain our shields? I think we can sustain our shields uh, at 25 power. All right, good, 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 good. All right, there's definitely a hive over here somewhere. So let's go ahead and get towards this hive. Oh, there's turrets on the ground too? Nobody told me there was going to be turrets. I hope they're not going to be doing too much damage. All right, there we go. That hive is done. Let's get, go ahead and uh, get out of here for a little bit. Oh, they're following me. They're following me. All right, I think we're okay for damage though. We've destroyed two hives. We also need to destroy... Whoa, a transmitter. You know what? Can I destroy this thing? Oh, look, we're digging through the ground. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, that is so cool. All right, destructible terrain is a win for this game for sure. But let's uh, destroy these things while we're here as well. There we go. I am not aiming my mouse at all, and I have to get into the habit of actually pointing my mouse instead of just my ship. All right, we'll destroy that thing. All right, let's recharge our batteries here. I'm just going to recharge really quick. Oh, the closer I get to the planet, the stronger the gravity is. I just realized that. That's another cool feature. All right, which means I actually have to kind of use my gravity to boost myself backwards here a little bit as I do this. All right, come on. Come on. I feel like we're pretty well protected. Uh oh Oh, no, we just lost a laser. We just lost a laser. That is not good. All right, let's focus on this hive then for now. Come on, come on, come on. We have just barely enough power. Come on. Get the hive. There we go. All right, come on. Just get, get these, these last few little enemies here, and then we can take a little bit of a break, I think. I hope. Why are my guns not shooting? Oh no, I lost my fast guns. Now I only have the snipers. And the snipers are not very easy to hit things with. Okay, all right. Can we repair? I don't know if we can repair. I don't think we can. Um, we don't have a map either. What if I get lost? I should be getting pulled towards the planet though. This way. All right, there we go. All right, we've destroyed three out of five hives, but we are whoa, getting attacked again. Um, I'm getting pulled towards the planet some more. Uh, am I missing some thrusters? Oh, no, I'm... I don't have my turning thrusters anymore, people. And I only have one weapon. This is apparently not a good enough ship. I thought we were gonna do pretty good, to be honest. But apparently not. And look at this. The snipers are actually really slow. So, apparently we weren't good enough. But it looks like to sustain two shields... Those things go through shields! Those things penetrate shields! All right, good to know. But apparently to sustain two shields, we need one of these uh, square blocks here, and that can sustain two shields indefinitely. Whew, all right, that was a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. So let's uh, go back to our drone building. We're gonna have to edit this. Guys, I have a crazy idea. I don't think we're gonna be agile enough, and we're gonna be a little bit more massive, which means that we're gonna get, be affected by gravity a little bit more probably. But my idea is... All right, guys, so I did some testing just now, and I figured out something that makes this entire thing pointless. My goal was to have some armor up in front of me, and then when I press a button, I can actually open it up and unleash Fury upon my enemies. But then I realized that when I close it, Fury still unleashes upon my enemies, so I don't need this automated system here, apparently. Um, so that's just a bunch of useless stuff that I did for whatever reason. Apparently, I can just add guns anywhere, and I'll just be able to shoot through some armor plating. I also found out that, um... This build circle isn't actually what I'm confined to. This is just the distance away from the part that I'm attached to, which right now is the center. But if I go and attach to this, it gives me a new range of uh, build stuff. So this is just the amount of range that any part can have from the part that it's attached to. So that's a fun little fact that I figured out there. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good. The only thing I think is really missing now is we need more thrust. Um, for sure, we're going to need more thrust and agility. So 
It's gonna be tough to figure out how to open myself up here or maybe to add on to it without taking up too much space. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I just do a little bit of this for now. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'm actually gonna replace, I'm not a big fan of the snipers. So we're gonna replace the snipers with more of these things. Our shields are looking okay. All right, let's do it. We have the new scrap drone. All right, five hives, hives one transmitter. We can do this. All right, we are falling kind of fast now. We have a little bit more mass than we had before, but I feel like we have a lot more protection. So I don't know how much energy we can sustain now. Whoop, all right, let's go ahead and just destroy this really quick. Let's aim all of our guns at it. That'd be a good idea. Probably help destroy it a little bit quicker. I gotta keep remembering that with my mouse controls. I keep just facing, uh oh, this has already fallen off. I just keep facing my shields at it rather than, oh, is that the transmitter? I think I found the transmitter. Let's destroy these things first. All right, get the transmitter. Get the transmitter, yes. All right, we destroyed the transmitter. One mission accomplished at least. Now I am finding it's very difficult to deal with gravity actually and keep my orientation the way that I wanna go. So uh, this might not be the best ship design as far as our thruster setup goes, but we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's take a little bit of a break right now. Get our power recharged because we're running out just a little bit. But yeah, this gravity is kind of tough because uh, all my thrusters keep facing in very linear directions, but gravity keeps pulling me sideways, so it's a little bit hard for me to stay the direction that I want to go. All right, I'm a little bit worried about this piece falling off, though. All right, this is kind of interesting. The planet is, <laughs> like, giving me the visual of the planet kind of turning underneath me rather than me going around the planet. Okay, shields up. Shields up. Let's go ahead and hit this thing. Come on. There we go. Well, the good thing, I don't really have to keep my ship facing a certain way since most of my weaponry is, uh, is, follows my mouse. Whoa, boy. We got some things going on here. All right, I feel like our shields are doing a pretty okay job right now, but we, I'm gonna take off. Oh, we're out of, we're out of power. I'm gonna take off and recharge for a little bit. All right, what are we at? Three out of five destroyed hives. Okay, we can do this. Whoa, they're coming back for some more. All right, you know what? Let's just go into the hive. We're going into the hive. We're going into it. Uh, come on. Oh, our power's running out. That's not good. Okay, we just need to destroy these things. Get them out of the way. All right, all right. That actually, we've made pretty quick work of them without their hive there. Oh, there's some more coming. They're coming in from behind. Get out of here. Come on, I just need to recharge this power. All right, let's just head up a little bit. All right, I think we're going to be okay. Just wait for some of this power to come back. Wait. I'm missing some. How did they get through the shields or the armor? That's a little bit weird. All right, so we don't have as much power as we used to. We also have a limited amount of fuel. I don't know if the, I don't remember if the fuel recharges at all. So let's try to be a little bit more conservative with our fuel here. All right, here we go. We're back in action. Uh, come on, get up off the ground. My backwards thrust is not enough, apparently. All right, come on, come on. All right, we're shielded by some of this terrain, which is really good. So we can get this hive here. This is the last one. This is the last one, yes. Okay, now what? Now what do we need to do? What do we need to do? we have to go back to the ship? What does this mean? I don't know how to finish. Back to Nimbatus, yes. Our reward, Plasma Sparks Thrower. Is this a new weapon? I guess it's a new weapon. Okay, continue. All right, mission accomplished on this planet. Let's go back, loading galaxy. Do we get a new planet? Oh, oh, look at this. We got this many new planets, the Sumo Arena. Oh, oh, it's actually a mission. Look, at it has logic and a sensor. And so oh, I just, so the Sumo Arenas, I remember the Sumo, Sumo Arenas, you don't get to control. You do not get to control your uh, ship. You actually have to create a logic-based ship that is self-operated. So uh, let's not do that just yet. No, actually, I think I'm going to, oh, wait, as we go, as we travel, we get to unlock, what if I travel over here? And then go back. Do I see more? No, I do not. But we have all of this stuff exposed now. So uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Do you want to see more of it on the channel? It seems like we can pretty much build as big of a ship as we want, I think. It's just about power management, as long as I just keep connecting things outwards. So let me know what kind of ships do you want to see in this? We just had a really basic blocky ship for the first episode, but I'm curious to see what we can come up with. So leave some of those ideas down in the comments. And if you want to see more episodes, definitely hit the thumbs up and let me know what you guys thought. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss cool gaming content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.